Okay, so for this EFT uh, video, we are going to tap on stress and overwhelm. And if you haven't had experience with EFT before, if you haven't watched the other video on sleep, um, with EFT or tapping, what we're doing is tapping on um, acupuncture around the body, head and torso, and um, using words to describe what's going on. So it's like a combination of somatic therapy, body therapy with cognitive kind of word therapy. And we're going to be working from the negative through to the more neutral and then through the positive. So we're kind of cueing our amygdala in the brain, our spotlight for danger in on what the issue is. And then we're going to just be changing perspective on how we see and, th and feel about things to try and release some of those stress hormones and to calm down our nervous system. Um, so it'll be a quick little one. You can do the, the tapping around a few times if you find it has helped, but it hasn't completely gotten rid of the anxiety of overwhelm or overwhelm. If I'm using words that don't resonate with you, change them to whatever words are more true for you. So maybe I talk about a tightness in my chest, but for you, it's a sickness in your tummy. Go with what works for you. Um, and we're gonna, so get you to feel into how you're feeling, how stressed or overwhelmed are you feeling on a scale of one to 10, one being you're absolutely fine, you're not stressed at all, and 10 being you're so stressed you can't cope. Um, it just helps you to assess how you are and how the EFT is working for you so you'll be able to see better whether it's having an impact, whether it's reducing it down um, and um, the progression there for you. Okay, so close your eyes, tune into your body, have a little feel into you know, where you're feeling it in your body. So can you put it down to an area? Is it in your chest or your neck or your head or your tummy? Um, Try and put an emotion to it as well, you know, what emotion are you feeling there? Is it anger or sadness? Um, is there any sort of a colour to it? Is it a dark grey colour or blue or some sort of colour? Some people are more visual than others. And um, is there any kind of um, sensation to it? So is it sticky or gunky or hazy or, you know, the, as many descriptors as you can get for yourself so that you can see how it changes and shifts and moves in your body. Okay, so we do our setup statement on the side of the hand, just along here, and you're tapping and just follow along. So tap along with me and just repeat the words that I use afterwards. Even though I have this heavy overwhelm and anxiety in my chest, I choose to love and respect myself anyway. Even though I have this heaviness and stress in my stomach when I think about everything I have to do today, I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. I always seem to try and fit too much into my day and I choose to forgive and love myself anyway. Even though I have this dense, sticky anxiety and overwhelm in my throat, I choose to love, honour and respect myself and anyone else who's contributed to me feeling this way. Okay, top of the head. And just use a few fingers just around the top of the crown here. This heavy overwhelm in my chest. Okay, eyebrow point is just up here. This blue anxiety in my chest. You use the words for you, okay? The stress that I'm feeling under the eyes, just on the socket, the orbit of the eye there. Not tapping too hard, just gently. This tight ball of stress in my stomach under the nose. It feels too much. So much stress and anxiety. Okay, collarbone is here and then the fleshy bit underneath there is where we're aiming for. Everyone wants a piece of me, under the arm. My to-do list is never ending. <clears throat> the wrist. Every time I get something done, there's twice as many tasks added to it. So you're just squeezing the fleshy part of the thumb either side there. I feel frozen and overwhelm. Next finger. All this blue anxiety and overwhelm in my chest. This ball of stress in my stomach. I don't have time to get it all done. I can't cope with the workload. Top the head again. I'm never going to get it all done in time. Eyebrow. I feel like I always have to be on. Side of the eye. I never get any time to myself. Under the eye. I'm so sick of feeling stressed all the time. Under the nose. Why can't everyone just give me a break? Chin. Everyone is constantly needing a piece of me. Collarbone. The kids.
kids are always needing attention. And they are. I never get a second to myself. Rest. Sometimes I wish I could just run away. The stress and anxiety in my chest. All this overwhelm I'm feeling. This ball of stress in my stomach. It's all getting on top of me. It's just too much sometimes. Okay, top of the head. Maybe I don't need to figure this all out by myself. Either. Maybe I could ask for some help. Side of the eye. Maybe I'm trying to control everything and thinking no one else will do as good a job as I could. Side of the eye. Would the world fall apart if I delegated some of these tasks to others? And to the nurse. Maybe I could ask my partner for more help around the house. Too. Maybe the kids could be more helpful. Collarbone. It won't kill me to let them do some of the housework, even if it's not perfect. Under the arm. I've been taking all of this on myself. Rest. But maybe I don't have to. Done. Maybe I need to talk to my colleagues and see what support or collaboration we can work towards to ease the burden I'm feeling. If I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm no use to anyone. I'm just going around in circles, getting nowhere. No wonder I feel so ineffective. Maybe I need to stop and breathe for a few minutes, take stock of the situation. Okay, I'm gonna release it. I'm choosing to let go of all of this stress and overwhelm. Either. I'm letting go of all of this anxiety and stress. Side of the eye. I'm releasing this stress that I've been holding onto in my body. Under the eye. I'm choosing to release all of this anxiety that I've been feeling. Under the nose. Being stressed out all the time isn't helping me. Chin. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. Collarbone. The world isn't gonna to come to the end if the house isn't clean or the laundry isn't washed. Under the arm. Maybe I need to strengthen my boundaries and say no to taking on new projects when my plate's already full. Rest. My being stressed out and anxious is not making me more effective. It's okay to voice my needs. My rest and well-being is important. If I help others when I'm in a space of overflow, with my time and energy, I can best serve them too. It's okay to say no. I need to decide what a priority is for me and focus on that. Okay, top of the head. It's safe to voice my needs. High breath. It's okay to ask for help, side of the eye. I can say no, under the eye. No is a full sentence. Yes. My health and happiness are important. Chin. I'm imperfectly perfect, collarbone. I'm perfectly imperfect. Under the arm. I deserve some time to rest. Wrist. Boundaries. Allow me to have healthy interactions with people. Thumb. I am safe. I deserve to have joy in my life. My mental health is important. It's safe to voice my needs. I'm worthy of all of the joy that life has to offer simply by being poor. Okay, take a deep breath in. And just do a check in and see where on that scale are you now with your stress and anxiety? Is it still the same? Did you feel something shift? Has it moved from your chest? Is it now in your throat? Is it moving through your body? Do you need to do another round to clear it a bit further? Check in, see what you need and go and do the rounds again if needed.